what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel uh, as you can see I am back outside in the boat because uh, we're gonna do another topic uh, another talk about my my fishing setups so before I go in any further uh, first of all thank you for everybody who's tuning in thank you for those who have subscribed and support the channel uh, for those of you that are new if you would go ahead hit the subscribe button make sure you click on the bell click all so you get notified every time I put out a video uh, smash that thumb that thumbs up button and please leave comments share the videos let me know what you guys think okay so we're gonna get into another uh, my setup uh, this one here that we're going to talk about is my my swim jig setup so last time I went over my swim bait setup uh, that is one of my favorite ways most of the times when I throw a swim bait it's usually in the form of uh, the Strike King Rage Swimmer with the belly weighted swim bait hooks also I do the non weighted sometimes depending on if I'm trying to keep it up uh, keep it up in the water column so this is probably my second favorite my swim jig um, I guess you can say I like fast moving baits or at least baits that I can control 100% as far as the speed the depth and all of that go uh, this is one of them that I've I guess I could say I'm I'm fairly decent I'm fairly good I'll say that I'm fairly good at this one uh, this is the six gill Sega rod it is a seven foot medium heavy power rod uh, the seven foot rod if you haven't got out and really you know played around with any of the rods the seven foot rod is that all-around go-to rod uh, you can take a seven foot rod and go walk the banks of a pond or a river or something and be able to do just about every type of fishing style uh, I would say as long as the weight of your lure is about of a quarter ounce anything like that quarter ounce and going up you can do with a seven foot uh, rod medium heavy power uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility in the tip to work certain lures also I like how when you do get that bite the rod tip loads up kind of like that little indicator that you have a bite or even if you are hitting um, a pile of rocks or a stump or something in the water that rod tip will give to let you know that you've hit something and you'll know the difference between hitting an object in the water and then when a fish is on uh, when that fish is on there it loads up really really good and then you automatic you start feeling that pressure of that fish whether it's going left right or whatever and all you have to do at that point uh, sometimes you don't even have to really do a hard hook set just lean back rotate your hips either left or right and then just start cranking on that reel and if you've got really good hooks you're gonna get good good hook penetration uh, the reel is a six gill Creus reel this was one of my favorite reels that they came out with uh, I think because as far as price point uh, this was one of them that had both the magnetic brake as well as the uh, internal uh, centrifugal brake but I guess they no longer make these or they could have stopped production because they're getting ready to make a a second version of it I guess I haven't heard anything I can check on that and find out and let you guys know but this was one of my favorite reels it still is one of my favorites uh, right now they only have the Hamar and their new line of reels that are manufactured in Texas the arrival uh, the arrivals are pretty expensive I think the last time I looked at it it was almost $450 a reel and then the Hamar is still their uh, cheaper line of reels uh, it has their proprietary dual magnetic braking system but uh, this Creus reel is awesome once you have the centrifugal brake set and then you set your external uh, magnetic brake awesome reel to cast with very smooth on the retrieve uh, like I said I've actually I've caught several fish with this setup right here um, one of the things once I have gotten uh, once I've got a setup 
put together I don't uh, change my my rod and reels around I think I just on that cast I think I've hooked my truck and I did I'll have to undo that here in a second but so that's this reel here the six gear Creus reel awesome reel uh, this one is a 6.3 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, I like to tell people that the 6.3 uh, 6 to 1 or the 6 to 1 gear ratios is usually what you'll hear people say because the different manufacturers, I have a 6.3, uh, 6.5, a 6.7, whatever. So most of the times if you hear people say a 6 to 1 gear ratio, then they're basically just talking about any reel that is a 6 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, if you don't know what that means, six to one gear ratio means for every one rotation of this handle your spool has spun around six times for me i like to say that's that uh medium slow gear ratio uh depending on the real companies that you're buying from you'll have anything from a five to one gear ratio up to eight to one maybe even nine to one uh, as far as six gill, I think at one point they had four different speeds, uh, five, six, seven, and an eight. So I like to say that the six to one gear ratio is that medium slow speed. Uh, it allows you to pick up the pace on fishing certain baits, but you're not going to go too fast and overwork that bait. Your seven to one gear ratio is what I call that medium high speed. Uh, you get a little bit more rotation for every one handle turn. So now you're able to fish those baits a little bit faster. So I would have to say like um, your buzz baits or your crank baits. Well, crank baits, I normally will throw uh, five to one because you don't want to overfish that one. The crank baits, you have to get those to dive down to a certain depth and you don't want to fish, you don't want to crank it so fast that by the time that crank bait has got down to that depth, you're already back at the boat and now it's coming back up. So normally you would throw crankbaits and stuff like that on a five to one gear ratio just because as you're cranking that thing, you're letting it dive down there to that max depth and stay in that strike zone. Uh, the seven to one gear ratio or this six to one gear ratio, like I said, medium slow speed. So uh, buzz baits, spinner baits, swim jigs, swim baits, uh, anything that you want to fish again on that medium slow speed this is a great reel for it the sega rod when they came out with this one this was one of their cheaper rods uh but please don't make the mistake of thinking that just because this is a cheaper rod meaning it's it's a crappy rod because like i said it's not i have caught several fish with this very setup right here uh, i normally spool this up with about 12 to 14 pound test line uh, I've thrown this with this spool set up I've thrown this into grass around laydowns uh, around a lot of cover uh, I haven't had any issues every now and then you will get hung on some things that's just the nature of it but this right here is one of my one of my favorite setups to throw this one is usually this is one of the first ones anytime i hit the water i'm usually pulling this one out of the box and it's on the deck somewhere because i know that if i need to cover a lot of water and i need to do it fairly quick i can pick this thing up and make several casts into spots um i've also gotten really good at skipping with this setup so skipping my swim jigs up under docks, under trees and stuff like that. I've gotten really, really good at that. Again, you're going to have to play with your braking system to get that dialed in and prevent a lot of those backlashes. But uh, again, this is an awesome setup right here. And again, I will show that to you. If you can see that right there, there it is. Six gill Sega with the trying to spin this thing around six gill Creus again I don't think they're manufacturing this reel anymore because I have not seen it on their website but who knows they could be like I said getting ready to make a 2.0 version uh, when I first started buying their their stuff cyclone was one of their cheaper reels and it had the small little magnetic brakes 
and they stopped manufacturing that one for a while and then they came out with their new updated version with the single uh, crescent moon shape magnetic brake and they've basically taken that and put it into the Hamar reel. So I guess you could say the Hamar, since it has come out, has taken the place of the Cyclone. They had another reel called the Typhoon, which was also another great reel, and then the Creus. They came out with a lot of other ones, but I think when they came out with their arrival, they had to get rid of some of their other reels to focus on that arrival. And then they kept the Hamar because it was one of their newer ones that came out uh, that was more on the cheaper side. So they're still offering uh, those cheaper reels for those that can't afford the more expensive ones. But again, I would have to say with, with their product, cheap does not mean crap. Um, I've had some pretty good success with their rod and reels. Unfortunately, the tournaments I've fished in, I have not had a chance to win some money on them, but uh, I haven't had any problems. The one rod that I had break on me, and that was because I tried to get it out of my rod box with one hand, and when I threw the rod up, threw the rod lid up and tried to pull the rod out, I didn't get it out in time. Rod smashed it, broke it. So that one was my fault. And then I've had one reel where an internal part had broke, and I sent it back to them. They fixed it, got it back to me. So great customer service. Other than that, I have not had any of their stuff break that wasn't due to something that I did. So great product, great customer service, great people over at Six Gill down there in uh, Stillwater. No, I can't remember, but it's in Texas. So that's why I love them. But, uh, that's all I have for this one, guys. Again, this is my swim jig uh, setup. The 6 gill Sega, 6 gill Creus, 6.3 6 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, that's all I got on that rod there. Uh, if you guys got any questions, drop them down there in the comment section below. I will try to answer those as best as I can. Um, if you got any other questions, I'll try to get those answered also. But, uh, that's all I got, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, comments, the shares, the likes. Thank you so much for all of that. And hope to see you guys in the great outdoors.